Plan strategi kebangsaan bagi menghapuskan AIDS 2016 sehingga 2030 menggariskan ujian dan rawatan sebagai salah satu tindak balas utama nasional ke arah menamatkan AIDS. Ini bagi memastikan mereka yang hidup dengan HIV atau AIDS ODHA mendapat akses kepada rawatan bagi memenuhi sasaran 95, 95, 95 menjelang 2030 dan seterusnya membasmi sebarang unsur diskriminasi. Virus kurang daya tahan manusia atau Human Immunodeficiency HIV umum tahu ia boleh dijangkiti melalui transmisi seksual. Profilaksis pra pendedahan atau PrEP jika digunakan oleh seseorang yang berisiko tinggi untuk mendapat jangkitan HIV sebelum pendedahan seksual telah terbukti berkesan melalui pelbagai kajian dan telah dimasukkan dalam garis panduan terapi antiretroviral ART sejak tahun 2017. Sejak kes HIV AIDS pertama dikesan di Malaysia pada tahun 1986, Malaysia melalui Kementerian Kesihatan Malaysia KKM telah memulakan langkah agresif dalam membasmi penyakit itu. So Malaysia has been um, you know introducing a lot of campaigns you know to 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 introduce and addressing the stigma and discrimination especially to key affected population. You know recently um, I believe um, Malaysia has been um, has introduce a, a, a campaign prevention for, for positive um, implemented by Malaysian AIDS Council and this project aims to provide education and also support for people living with HIV including the use of PrEP as prevention too All right and through throughout this project the the key affected populations and <coughs> and those with higher risk are provided with information in how to use PrEP as one of the the one of the you know prevention method and, and in addition you know there has there has been effort to train healthcare workers and provide professionals on prep you say and how to provide um, non discriminatory care to key affected populations Stevi menjelaskan punca utama stigma berlaku adalah kurang pengetahuan mengenai penggunaan ubat prep so, number one is um, you know the limited knowledge and awareness of the general public of you say for prep so there there is a lack of awareness when it comes to prep among healthcare providers initially because limits the ability it limits the ability to provide healthcare effective healthcare and um, information to people who are seek, who are seeking for prep we are talking about key affected population which sometimes people are you know addressing as taboo but we need to see this as a healthcare perspective instead of a social Bagaimanapun, ada juga sebahagian daripada mereka yang hidup dengan HIV AIDS yang tidak mahu meneruskan pengambilan ubat prep Actually, um, it's not as straightforward as that because um, to to take prep, um, there's a, there's there are procedures that they have to to adhere to. Um, they have to take regular checkup. Okay, they have to because it's it, it, it is not when when we talk about prep and and sometimes some people they cannot handle the side effect or they have interaction with other drugs that uh, or medication they are take, that they are taking. Justeru, tegas TV, sekiranya terdedah dengan aktiviti berisiko tinggi, mereka disaran untuk mengambil ubat berkenaan. Um, yeah, I, I do believe it's a individual choice. Okay, there, there must be a reason why they don't want to take. But um, they stop. I mean, they stop the prep. But if they are still at high risk, doing high risk activities, um, you know, um, I, I urge them to, you know, still continue taking the medication for what, um, because it's one of the the important tool, powerful tool to to reduce the infection. Matlamat utamanya adalah memerangi stigma dan diskriminasi yang dilihatnya tabu walaupun mereka yang hidup dengan HIV AIDS boleh hidup seperti orang lain. HIV is not a death sentence anymore. Maybe it was 20 years, 30 years back, but now it's uh, there's a lot of advancement um, in medication to control the virus. And and you know, people living with HIV is one of the they can be a productive workforce of the society they can contribute to the economy and there should not be any the stigma and discrimination that they are facing should not be something that hinders them to to be a productive member of the society all right um they are still human tambahnya berilah mereka peluang untuk sama menjalani kehidupan seperti manusia normal yang lain 
Persatuan Prihatin AIDS Sarawak SSCS berperanan menangani isu HIV dan AIDS di Sarawak dengan cara tidak menghukum serta memberi pendekatan yang menyeluruh dengan fokus kepada pendidikan mengenai pencegahan dengan orang yang hidup dengan HIV dan AIDS. Saya Mokri Aziz dan saya Lorenzo Isaac bersama juru kamera Awang Asmel untuk TVS.